previously on Apollo Justice, Ace Attorney. Oh, take it instantaneously. Now drink your coffee. Yes, good. Drink more of the crack coffee. Yeah. Ah, everyone get out of my head. Now back to screeching at people. Hello. The Sneaky Bee. Back with some more Apollo Justice, Ace Attorney. We last left off, we completed the first case, and it was actually a pretty fucking awesome case. <laughs> a lot of you actually said this was, you thought it was uh, probably one of the best tutorial cases in the series. I mean, it was really damn good. Like, I loved that, uh, that, ex that really, like, sarcastic exchange between Kristoff and Phoenix. who like, are like, well, oh, aren't you the best thing ever? Well, no, aren't you the best thing ever? We you know it. I remember the good days we used to have. I do too. Yeah, they were so numerous. Oh, God, I could just count them all in my one fucking hand. I was, oh, my God, it was fucking fantastic. Apparently, the, I asked you guys, what was the reason why a number of people dislike the series? Uh, apparently, a lot of people disliked that uh, they got that Phoenix Riot was sort of sidelined, I guess, and focused on this other character, um, and that he wasn't supposed to, wasn't a... Uh, uh, I guess an attorney anymore, and I, I guess they didn't like the way his character turned out. I don't know. I, so far, I think he's pretty cool, but I mean, even if he did, is a bit of a hypocrite now that he's like forging some evidence. And when he was giving Edgeworth so much shit at it at the beginning of the series, but I mean, that aside, I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was. I thought he was. He seemed like it was really on his game. Um, and also, you know, a number of people also said they thought that the middle cases were not quite up to par so i'll i'll be curious to see if i feel the same way or not but uh i'm, I'm excited so far and uh i i actually think apollo seems <laughs> i mean honestly he seems like he seems like phoenix did in his early game so but uh <laughs> a little and uh, probably even probably even a little bit dorkier than even phoenix was but let's start stuff with the next case turnabout quarter day one investigation Turns out Apollo Justice decides he's not actually gonna become an attorney or go there. He's just gonna work as a, he's gonna work at a hamburger place. Ace Fry Cook. As long as we draw breath, the wheel of fate turns. Reel of morality, turn, turn, turn. Tell us the lesson that we should learn. Whoa. Ah! Dramatic flashing. Oh, God damn it. Why can I get a motorized one of these big, spinning big crimes and little crimes together? And when the wheel stops. Oh, what the? Holy. Oh, you die. Holy shit. Was that, was that 3D modeling in this? In a Phoenix Wright game? What the ball sack? <laughs> that looked kind of strange. I wasn't used, I, I wasn't expecting that. June 15th, 9, 12 a.m. Ryan Cole Law Offices. Actually, I'll be curious. What if Gumshoe will show up? Or if they'll have like a different detective. I I wouldn't put it past the game if he did. Because, I mean, Phoenix Wright showed up, so. Or maybe they'll have a new, like, they'll have Detective Gumshoe's protege. And he's just as big a fuck up as he is. Two months have passed since Mr. Gavin's arrest. My first trial, and I lost both my mentor and my job. Fuck me. I'm now flipping burgers. Yeah, and I'll admit, I was screwed. But even when I hit, hit bottom, I told myself I'd never come here. Honest. Uh, here being the legendary Ryden Cole offices. Oh. Wow, like what you done with the place. What in the world is all this shit? <laughs> yeah, Maya kind of came and moved in and added all of her shit. Although, I think a lot of this seems to be his daughter's, right? Because I see that the hat over there. So she's supposed to actually be like a magician or something? Okay, Justice. Time to stop trembling. Stop trembling! Uh. Ah, oh, you must be here for the interview right this way. Huh? Ah, oh, it is. It's you. Hello there. You found you found the right place. Welcome. Uh, uh. What? 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 What's with this girl? Well, now shall we begin? Begin? What? I'm I'm really curious about her because I'm like I want to know what the whole circumstances behind her existence is. Right. First things first. Any special talents? Uh, um, talents? Yes, well, you must have at least one. Well, uh, I guess defending? <laughs> oh, yeah, I have one talent. It's called JUSTICE! Defending? An unusual talent, but it'll do. With a little chassing up, of course. Y you think so? <laughs> oh, she was doing the, she was doing the Maya, uh, like, this, like, like... <laughs> Puppy face! Almost! Not quite, though. Let's give it a go, shall we? Uh, huh? Go ahead, show me. Defend! Just give it your all, all you've got. Don't hold back now. What, 
What are you talking about? I can't just defend here. <laughs> I'm gonna punch you in the dick. You gotta defend against it. What did you do? Ah! First lesson: a professional can perform anywhere. Thanks. <laughs> we want people to be laughing with us, not at us. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. But I'm not sure why they should be laughing at all. <laughs> what? What exactly do you think he came to came here to do? What? 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 Um, defend? No. <laughs> Excuse me, but do you know where you are? Huh? The, the right, the right and kill offices, right? Oh, I was afraid of that. Don't worry, you're not the first. Look, what's going on here? Who are you? I came here to meet with the, the with the person in charge. Well, you've apparently made no fewer than two mistakes. Mistakes? But I got a call from right, Mr. Right this morning. Hey, dumbass! Better be coming over here to do your job, otherwise we're not gonna have a game for anyone to play. Perhaps you should go ahead, go read the sign up, up front again. What's there to read? Look, it says right there. Oh. <laughs> Why does it say right talent agency? Oh. <laughs> Welcome to the right talent agency, where you've always come to the right place. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh, fucking shoot me. Is this what it's come down to now, Phoenix? Is this what I become? I'm Trissy Wright, CEO. I'm a magician. It all came flooding back. The trial of that girl. Oh my god. How did I forget her? Hello, sir. Please pick a card. That's right. She's my daughter. I want to know what's up with you. The only thing I think of is that she was adopted or he... Or Phoenix was just slutting himself around in the old days. Trucy, right? Here, check out check out our flyer. So, what's your name? Apollo Apollo Justice, Attorney at Law. <laughs> Stop bouncing! So, is this really a talent agency? You bet! You bet your biscuits! Daddy started seven years ago when he quit law. Of course, we only have two people signed up right now. Two people? Does that include you? Actually, speaking of which, we have... To, oh, good. She's in here now. She, no way! She's 15? Okay, well, that does confirm at least that she had to have fucking existed before, I don't know, the other games. I, I'm guessing he must have adopted, but... I don't know. She looks older to me. Two people? Does that include you? Tracy Wright, magician extraordinaire. I knew it. I've done a lot of stage shows, paid too. I am a professional, you know. See, like that, that expression right there. Doesn't that look like the Maya, like, really intense look? <laughs> uh, uh, right. I'm still coming to one of my shows, okay? Let's see. Oh, and the other person our agency represents is Phoenix Wright, pianist extraordinaire. <laughs> extra, extra ordinaire. <laughs> Your dad, in other words. Didn't he say you couldn't play the piano? Our agency doesn't see that as a problem. Why, there are many magicians who can't do magic. At least you're optimistic, I'll give you that. <laughs> Who the ball sack are you? Where have you been the last three games? So you're, uh, you're Phoenix Wright's daughter? That's right, after Daddy quit law seven years ago, I promised I would keep him fed. So I'm kind of his sugar daddy, get it? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm in charge of this whole office, too. Pretty amazing for a young lass of 15, wouldn't you agree? Uh, 15? Uh, how old is Mr. Wright? Daddy, oh, he's 33 this year. Uh, I'm sure there's a good explanation. <laughs> I hope. Hmm? Uh, oh, come on. Do you mean me to spell it out for you? Um, about Mr. Wright giving up law. It was because of that incident seven years ago, wasn't it? Uh, you know about that? Not the details. I remember the news, though. It was a big deal. So I hear. I was too young to understand what was going on. I'll ask Daddy about it next time I get a chance. Daddy, right. That reminds me about Mr. Wright. He gave me a call this morning to come in. Daddy's not here right now. He's in the hospital. Oh, what the? The, the hospital? Yeah, he's on a strict bed rest until he gets better. What? What? <laughs> oh, okay, which hospital is Mr. Wright in? I'll pay him a visit. Oh, the Hickfield, Hickfield Clinic. It's quite close. Oh, God, I hope your doctor... Uh, Creepy pants isn't there. Right, well, I'll be going now and I'll uh, give this showbiz geek some thought, okay? Wait, I'll go with you. Trucy Wright has joined your party. June 15th, 9.45 AM, Hickfield Clinic. So this is Mr. Wright's hospital? 
Oh, for fuck's sake! What did I just say? What did I just fucking demon say? Yeah, so good. Yes, yes. Nico never wanted to use his voice again. He never, he hoped he would just let it die. In big burning fire of death. Oh, god dang it. Really? Uh, visitors, are you? Hmm. Uh, yeah. Are you the doctor? Hi. Uh, yes. Doc. Doc feels the name. He. Good morning, doctor. Oh God damn it! Oh, hi there, Drusy. Cute as ever. He. It's so. It's so fucking creepy because it just looks like he's just like squeezing her boob with his right hand. Like he's like, oh yes, one day, one day. Is this daddy's room? Ah, oh, yeah, except he's gone from the morning checkup. Be back, be back soon. How are you, Miss Trucy? Got any places you like examined? <laughs> Doctor, the nurse was looking for you. <laughs> Why, if it isn't Daddy or the cute, Daddy the cutest little thing in town. <clears throat> Guess I'll be off in <laughs> later, Trucy. Good, please stop showing up my, in my games and other, other people's games. Wow, what an odd bird, bird that guy was. Good morning! Didn't expect you so soon, Apollo. Mr. Wright? What the ball sack are you doing here? So what happened? Who can imagine it? Me, victim of a hit and run. What are the odds? A hit and... You were hit by a car? Oh, he tried to swerve. I'll give him that. Picture me tossed 30 feet through the air. Only stopping when my head hit, hit that telephone pole. Pretty sure I should be dead. I am now Robo Phoenix. They brought me back. Made me stronger, better, faster. You had a telephone pole with your head? Are you okay? Thankfully, my only injury was a sprained ankle. <laughs> that. Wait, what? I smashed my head into a pole. The only injury I got was a sprained ankle. <laughs> he really is as lucky as they say. Yep, I just bullshit my way through everything. Yep, just like I do. There's something that, well, it just doesn't sit right. I just can't believe you have a daughter, Mr. Mr. Wright. And. And she's so big! Not, not fat, but, but you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, truly still a child. Daddy, how many times do I have to remind you? Because I mean, she still calls me Daddy. I'm not a child anymore. Ah, ha, ah, ha. We always be Daddy's little baby girl to me, Ha! Ah, 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 my foot. I'm not buying it. Oh, so you should know about Trucy. She's a magician, right? She told me. Not a mere stage magician. She's a genius. Ah, oh, Daddy! Ah, oh, Daddy! You're so gonna appreciate her talent. You could just tell me think tell me things instead of insinuating them. <laughs> no, you must find them out yourself, young grasshopper. So why'd you contact me? What could the right right talent agency possibly want with me? No need to get prickly now. <laughs> hey, I didn't ask to be dragged in like this. Oh, but did you come into the office free of your own free will anyway? <laughs> well, yeah, of course. Help, we're in big trouble here at the office. Office, big. I thought, I thought someone was dying. <laughs> uh, so you don't think this is big trouble? My travel, my talent agency represents only two people, and one of them is in the hospital. That's right, Daddy. How are we going to pay this month's rent and the groceries? Uh, that's all right. Dear old hobo right, we'll get it done somehow. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem with it, a tight operation. It's a symbiotic relationship. When one of us falls, the other two must fall. Hey, this isn't exactly a suitable conversation to be having in with a 15-year-old girt kid. In any case, if Apollo here can't help you, you'll have to transfer to a new school again. <laughs> no, I can't. I only just made friends. How could you do this to me? To us, Polly! <laughs> uh, what? Uh, uh, oh, oh, she called him Polly. I was like, who's Polly? The only Polly I remember was like a parrot from like the first game. <laughs> huh? What? Now, now it's my fault? On that note, how about you come work for us? I've got a perfect client for you already lined up. Uh, a client? You mean I get to do my job? I get to defend in court? Nope, you're gonna be a you're gonna be a clown. <laughs> ah, fuck me. All right, I'll hear what you have to say. You got him, Dad. Hook, line, and sinker. Ah, now it's time to reel him in. It's official. I'm scared. <laughs> Tie him up, Trucy. Okay, Daddy. <laughs> and what do you want? All right, so who's the client? Ah, uh, yes, here. Take a look at the map, I'll explain. You're gonna be at a kid's birthday party. And <laughs> you'll be the juggler. Ah, oh, god damn it. Last night I left the office just before nine o'clock. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. It's going to that Indo- 
Indochine pasta joint, olden olden ties. Indochine. It wouldn't be Indochine. China? Is that, oh, chi is that actually a word? <laughs> I never. I probably sound really uh, ignorant for that, but I. Indo well, or Indo Chinese. Indo China. I, I play piano there, of course. That's when it happened. Oh, that's what I get for walking in the middle of the fucking road. Car semi flying, Nick to tell one pole. And zoomed away. Creepy, huh? Just a tad. It's almost as creepy as hearing you tell the story like it was no big deal. Car sped off in this direction. It went that way. So, good luck. What? Huh? You wanted a client, didn't you? Well, I'm your client. Found the guy who knocked me into that telephone pole. Find him so I can murder him in his sleep. For I am Phoenix Wright, a psychopath. Whoa, hold on. I'm a defense attorney, not a detective. Don't worry. Once you found the guy, I tend to sue him. Then you can stick to him. Stick it to him in court. I'm not a prosecutor either. <laughs> I'm sorry, but th this is crazy. I'm going home. I'm getting so worked up. It was just a joke. Huh? What kind of bad for Apollo? Stop fucking with him already, Phoenix. Oh, Daddy! Oh, Daddy! Sorry, Apollo. He just loves jokes, you know? Even the ones that aren't very funny. Oh, uh, yes. I've been a real comedian. I'm not good at telling jokes, but I'm a comedian. Real clients should be snubbed by the office any time now. <laughs> the office? You mean the talent agency? No harm in going. It's not like I have anything else to do. It's not like I have any other games to be in. Oh, one more thing. Do you look into my accident, too, would you? I marked the scene of the tragedy on this map. Hunt him down for me. Avenge me, Apollo. Avenge me! It's right in front of this park. It should be, should be easy to find. So he's going to make me investigate this after all? <laughs> yeah, it turned out I actually wasn't lying. I, I, I'm dead serious. Go do it now. All right, I hate you so much. I want you to know that. Bye. June 15, 10 o'clock a.m. 905 a.m. Right, tell. Oh, uh, 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 tell agency. Uh, hey, hey, hey. How long are you planning on making me wait, eh? Oh, good morning. Oh. So, oh, uh, well, based on what he said there, like, hey, 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 how long you plan on making me wait? I mean, we think of like a, an accent like that, but <laughs> he's got, a, he's got like his hat looks like a bowl of ramen, and so does his hair. <laughs> yeah, I'll stick with, I'll, I'll give him that sort of northern accent, and we'll see if that fits or not. Hey, that juicy doll. Sounds like your pops had a, had a bit of a rough spot, eh? Oh, so well, that ends well, I guess. This is our client. Hey, so is that, is that Bolo, is that, this is that Bolo fella, eh? No, I think it's, I think this will work. Oh, uh, yes, the name, the name's Apollo. Look at, look at him, look at him there, arms all cross like, ready to fight. Y yes, sir, y you don't, wait, you don't, you don't mean that literally, do you? Plus, don't, told you what I need, right? Don't, don't let me down now, Polly, Polo. Don't worry about your fence, sir, I I'm on it. <laughs> defense, your noodle half cooked? It's too late for defense. My castle's been stolen. My my keep's been kept. My noodle noodle stand's been stolen. Noodle? You know, Mr. El Eldoon from the noodle stand, don't you, Polly? No nicknames, please. I <laughs> wow, really? We like literally just met. And no, of course I don't know him. You new in these parts? Not really. But you know the best noodles in town, Eldon's noodles. Uh, whose noodles? My noodles! Hey, help me out of out here, Trucy Doll. This is Mr. Guy Eldoon, our client. Maybe you can tell us what the problem is, Mr. Eldoon. Oh, he's got a harmonica. Anything for you, Trucy doll. Okay, uh, first off, why do you have a bowl of ramen on your head? <laughs> it's not ramen, it's my hair. Well, that, although it is edible, actually. <laughs> he slurps one up. <laughs> ah! So, who the ball sack are you? I mean, you run a noodle stand, Mr. Eldoon. Guy, Guy Eldoon's the name, and noodles on my game. Got some brown in my head right now! The secrets in the soup! I've been searching for the perfect soup for half a, half a year. A year and a half. Oh, that's not that long, really. <laughs> my family's been a new middle lad for generations. Got a lot of expectations on my shoulder. Fifteen fathers passing the noodle to fifteen sons. That's a pretty old noodle. I, that fool I was, I pushed it away. I rebelled against my pops, picked, an, picked another livelihood. But that didn't turn out so well. Oh. <laughs> I feel like Apollo could be so awkward. So just says what we're like, oh. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> Good. There's no denying it. It's the only broth that runs through these veins, boy. 
So, it was like the destiny that you came with you are. Right, destiny's the word. Oh, I thought it. But in the end, I was bound by the twisted noodle of fate. Not a mental image I care to linger on. <laughs> so last year I stopped my noodle stand. 15 cent, 15 generation of Eldon's noodles. Eldun, Eldun noodle. Um, so tell me more about Eldun's noodles. You don't, you don't know the genius that are my noodles. I make them so salty. Why the saltier then? Fucking salt, bro. <laughs> now, I, now I really don't want to find out. <laughs> Daddy's a regular at his noodle stand. He frequented my pop stand back during his attorney days too. Yup, him and his assistant. I'm s <laughs> me. <laughs> is is Maya gonna show up here? Where the ball sack is Maya? Oh my god, I thought she'd be bumming off Phoenix for the rest of her life. I'm sorry. I'll be sure to drop by drop by your stand soon. Where's your good, Sonny? Eh? I can wish that good. I'd give you anything for a bowl about now. Did he just literally say to you, Apollo, that his thing got stolen? I don't pay attention. <laughs> what do you mean? It was stolen, my stand! I literally said it earlier! Stolen? Pretty sure I did! It's last night. I was doing my rounds, blowing my whistle. It's like an ice cream truck's bell, but louder. He, he even gets complaints. <laughs> Why are you happy about that? Uh, now you're just trying to butter me up. That sounds more like the blues than a whistle. They stole my, they, they closed up my stand for the night and powered up by the house. Then this morning, dark and early. It's gone, my key, my gas, oh! Oh, that's what that freeze frame was. <laughs> Maybe some bum carted it off? Yes, it was me. <laughs> Just guessing here. Well, I <laughs> oh, he's actually, he's actually nibbling on his hair. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he started, started sucking on it. Oh, he is, ew, ew, ew. <laughs> Wait, wait, so, I don't, wow, is that, how long is that strand of noodle, or hair, or, what, what what's happening? Well, I don't care who did it, now that's damn I'm finished. Oh, my noodle balls went, there, went in there, too. That's the saddest thing I've ever, I've heard all day long. <laughs> that's the saddest thing I've ever heard in this day. You know, and yeah, that's the deal. Good luck. Good, huh? Wait, wait, what exactly is your request? My noodle stamp, find it, you little shit. Aren't you ace attorney investigations? No, that's some other guy with a neck scarf. It's called a cramming! My noodle stamp, find it. The day you bring my baby back is the day you feast on as many noodles as you want. Of course, I make it so hot and salty, two bowls to kill a man. <laughs> then I'd really need defense. Speaking of defense, that's what I do. I'm a lawyer, not a detective. It's where I live. You drop by if you need any info, okay? <laughs> Fuck. I, I like how nobody is listening to anything I say. Ba 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 da ba ba. Get it back today if you can't, Polo. I got got noodles to make. Uh, things are certainly taking a turn for the bizarre. Traffic accidents and noodle stand thieves. Fuck me. What have I done? Um, actually, there was something I wanted to ask you about too. Apollo or Polo? Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, hey, listen, lady's problem. Now don't be cruel. The last thing last night, that is something was stolen. Hey, what's this? More thieving than skull dog great. Skullduggery! Well, um, someone stole a pair of my panties! Jesus Christ, what? <laughs> oh, that's really creepy, actually! <laughs> yes, it was me! <laughs> uh, do it was Dr. Hottie, that was his name. Dr. Hottie was probably him. <laughs> uh, panties? <laughs> you look at his face, he's like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be here for this. I'm just going to keep eating my hair. Um, so they were, um, stolen your, uh, 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 uh no, can't think about <laughs> your, um, <laughs> My panties, yes, they were stolen while I was still wearing them. <laughs> oh, okay, um, oh god, this is turning into Dong and Ropa. If you complete my social link, I'll give you my panties. Uh, uh, right. Panties. That's a grand shame. That is true as a doll. I was alone in the office last night. I hung my panties out the window there to dry. <laughs> what? Who does that? When a thief came came and took them, my favorite panties. No! I ran after them. Give those back. I shouted. Wait! Well, that was certainly brave of you. <laughs> but I lost him. 
Without those paintings, I don't know what I what I'll do. <laughs> what the fuck? Don't cry in shame. Yep. Okay, I, I I don't know if it's just me, but I'm I'm beginning to feel like I'm the only sane human being in this world now. At least the scene of the crime is convenient. I'll book her in your map. You're here right now. I'll be heading home now. Remember, I found my stands. An empty bowl in your future, Polo. Uh, right. And help out Trucy Doll here, too, yeah? And help her dad out with this random thing, whatever. And uh, while you're at, why don't you go out and buy me a cheeseburger? Alright, I'm... I'm Apollo Justice Ace Aaron Boy. Nope, you're more like Apollo Justice H, bitch! They certainly picked up, haven't they? We had no work yesterday, now we have three cases! They, I... I guess. <laughs> yep, these are the three cases, Niku, you're gonna be figuring out for the rest of the game! Oh my god, are you fucking shitting me? See where we stand. Not in a courtroom, that's where. Well, the first item on our list... Phoenix Wright, Daddy's Hit and Run accident. I have to find the one who hit him. Who's, who's going to pay us for this again? And the second item! Yeah, just ignore me. I expected it. Mr. L. Dunes, who has to find a stolen stand? For which we gain a bowl of salty noodles that will possibly kill us. And the last request is mine. To find my stolen panties, you must find them! Find my undie pants! That bowl of noodles is looking better and better. <laughs> All right, we're up. All right, we started with an epic case. Now let's get to some really weird cases. <laughs> let's go, Polly, to the streets. Uh, aren't you enthusiastic? <laughs> I've already, I've already decided I'm gonna be your Maya. I don't know what that is. Don't worry, you'll find out soon enough. How can I not be? Let's crack these cases, you and me. Ah, uh, guess we might as well get started. Let's see, a hidden, a hidden run, a stolen stand. Last but not least, stolen panties. <laughs> we must go for the panties first. Access scene, scene of stand theft. I'm just going to Hickfield Clinic. You know why? Because it's fucking that doctor dude, right? Because the other two had to do with the other things, right? Dr. Addy's going to have the fucking panties and know it. Fucking weirdo. June 15th, Hickfield Clinic. Huh? Mr. Wright's gone. Maybe he's gone for an examination? He'll probably be back soon. Let's wait. I think it might take some time. Daddy always loves his examinations. Don't ask. <laughs> d d don't ask, Justice. Y you don't want to know. Yeah! Dig in there, Doc! Dig in there deep! Yes, good! Good! I've, I've got it up to my elbow! Why don't we come back later? Yeah, I guess you're right. It's gonna be weird somewhere else. Okay! Ah, damn it! Alright, good! We're glad to see we're repeating the, uh... The, uh, I can only go to, uh, locations from certain other locations and not, you know, having, like, a next page button or something. God dang it! June 15th, accident scene. Right, well, you're not even tell me what time it is? This is where Mr. Wright got hit by that car? According to the map, this is the place. What a huge, what a huge mansion. Feels like, feels like Chinatown. Apollo, th there's a nice looking lady over there. Let's question her. Um, okay. <laughs> Tell me what you know, lady. I'm a little curious. I'm a little curious about what in the the park over there too. People park. It's where you come to walk your people. Oh my fish lady. <sighs> Excuse. No, no, no. Please don't, don't talk. No, it's gonna be fine. No, no. no I, I don't, I don't want to talk to her. I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared of her truth. No, no, no. It's fine. Don't worry. She'll be. Fine. Excuse me. We have a few words with you. Mmm, you want something? <laughs> whoa, that, oh, whoa, that husky voice. Why am I suddenly sweating? Uh, you want something? It's quite a husky out there. You must have a lot of money. Oh, money sounds like something my son would call his friends. This is the Kentucky family mansion, little girl. Uh, <laughs> you kid with the hair. You want something? Uh, 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 me? No. Uh, no. No. I'm, I'm, bu nothing. Bye. Uh, Apollo, we can't leave without questioning her. What if she knows something? She doesn't. No, she doesn't. But but the, the, the Kataki family. They're the biggest organized crime syndicate in town. Oh, my God. Oh! Oh! I was literally just about to say, I was like, that, that broom has hiding a machine gun or something. Nope, it's just hiding a big fucking blade. You're going to ask something, ask it. If you're mad enough. Sack up, boy. <laughs> and I'm scared. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Come back. Apollo, come back. 
Right. Yay! Way, way to whip him into shape, ma'am. Does she know no fear? What are you? I am Batman! I'm Plum. Plum Kotaki, wife of the fourth head of the Kotaki family business. Friends call me Little Plum because I am a dainty flower. I'm Little Apollo Justice Attorney. Quit gurgling on me, weenie man. If looks could kill, this woman would be a mass murderer by now. <laughs> Okay, okay, this is gonna probably scar me for life. Little Plum, that's a really cute name for someone, so. Yes! Yes! Whoa! What is it, Apollo? Uh, how about you go through me when talking to her, okay, Trissy? <laughs> huh? This seems like a bit. bit like, a, like a bit of a needless procedure. Sorry, but you're just not getting it. She's gonna fucking kill you. And probably me. I'm a, I'm a lawyer. I live for needless procedures. Oh, little girl, you should know. We're gangsters. Gangst? Oh, that means you're the bad guys. <laughs> what? Wow. Wow. All right. You're you're uh, 15 years old, but you act like you're fucking 10. <laughs> I think I acted more like you were in that, uh, that little medallion thing. Apparently, Phoenix has given you a very sheltered life. True seat through me, please. I'm begging you here. The bad guys, I like the sound of that. I'm gonna need some warm tea after this. <laughs> Spiked with some serious cocaine. It takes a lot of hard work to perfect a family fortune. Things aren't as easy as they used to be for us bad guys. That's me blowing on my hair. So you're saying that business is in a slump? Let's not ask about business, we can help it, please. Don't poke the big fish, lady. There was a car accident here last night. Last night? Uh, of course, you wouldn't know about it. Sorry to bother you. Please don't hurt me. Mm. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> yes? You're talking about that man, aren't you? The one who flew 30 feet and just walked away. That's my daddy. Uh -huh. He's fucking invincible. Ah, I should have known. One of our cap capos thought he'd make a great point man. Capo point man? Um, could you avoid using too much, uh, industry lingo? In any case, I've been nothing but trouble. I've been cleaning up this mess this morning. I've been cleaning up blood off pavement since this morning. <laughs> cleaning up this paint? Was this paint spilled at the time of the accident? It was around nine last night I heard crashing noise. I found your father drowning in a sea of paint. So he came to his rescue? You, my husband, the boss to thank for that. I don't know. The guy that your father knocked over this paint, then turned the corner and sped away. Blah. We're in the middle of repainting our wall, you see. I'm sure that dragon is glaring at me. It's, it's looking at me. I see it. It's fucking looking at me! <laughs> But why are you out here cleaning it up? What do you mean? I mean, aren't you a gangster? Don't you have any, any goons to do your dirty work for you? Uh, please, go through me when you want to, please. Please, he's gonna kill us! <laughs> well, you don't be such a stiff lawyer, boy. I suppose we gangsters do have a certain image. Um, yes. But we're community-oriented gangsters, you say. The monster likes to give the people, get back to the people, see? How noble of him. <laughs> well, also murdering half of them. Oh, uh, okay. I feel myself in a public facility to get rid of all the garbage. And now there's pet on the street to deal with. Public facilities? I wonder if she means that trash can. <laughs> there's a dead person in that trash can. Okay. Let's look over here. Oh, hello there. Who's that? She's looking at the park. She's pretty. I bet she has a story, you know? Yeah. Hey, ba hey, sweet cheeks. What's your story? There's something about her. T too bad she seems to be in a bit of a rush. Get back here. Oh, okay, never mind. What in the balls is that going on back there? What in the hell is that? <laughs> Get down from there. Ah, help me. My leg is stuck on the fence. Looks like there's some trouble by the park gate. Are they... are they alive? <laughs> I 
spell an incident. Uh, ah, ah, there's no entry to the park. Now you, so don't you, now don't you tell me where I can go, young fella. Oh, I swear to God, if that's fucking old bag, I'm gonna punch my fucking computer screen. I'm gonna rip it in half and eat it. I'll walk, always walk through this park on my way home. Lay it off there, or you'll hurt yourself, ma'am. That's quite the determined old lady. Oh, please, God Almighty, I'm begging you. She's gotta be, I mean, come on, it's been seven years. She's gotta be dead by this point. Personally, I'm a little more interested in this park. You know what I think? I bet they're filming a movie. Let's go take a look. Maybe we'll see someone famous. Uh, uh famous day on the park! Oh, uh, he got mad at me. <laughs> um, does something happen here, officer? Uh, oh, no, 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 move along, nothing to see. Why don't you guys go play somewhere, where it plays out. We're not kids, we're not playing. I'm an attorney. Ace attorney. Uh, something wrong. Ah, Dagger Sky, we're, we're fine. Fine, ma'am. Nothing to report. Oh! Oh my god! You are gonna be my new gumshoe! Emma Sky lives! <laughs> oh my god. Awesome! You're here, you're older. You finally got a job doing what you wanted, you talked about all the fucking time in the other games. <laughs> Are you, so you're, I bet you're gonna be my gumshoe. Detective? Why should, why should we get a lab coat? You hardly want to comment on how people are dressed. <laughs> and th these kids are? Curiosity seekers, ma'am. They claim to be lawyers. Uh, what? Why don't you kids run along and play someplace else? Okay, you cannot be that much older, all right? Uh, ah, oh, damn it. Don't know how old she is. Oh my god, Mr. Lady, 42. I don't know how old I am either. Look, we're not. Oh, I might spill something on that pretty face of yours. Oh shit, all right. Mm. Want to do some experimental hydro hydroxy hydroxyalsulonodostracel? Come again? It'll melt your fucking face off! What's hydroxy stuff? Whatever it is, it doesn't sound good. Let's. Run, Tracy! Try to keep up out of the riffraff if you would. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, fuck you too, Emma. Guess all the dead times we had together don't mean shit to you. Uh, how are we gonna get more information like this? Why don't we ask that nice woman across the street? Oh yeah, that nice woman. Ugh. Oh yeah, let's go ask Miss Crazy Chick here. I sweep. I dainty flower. Can I ask you a question? What? What happened in the park across the street? Oh yes, quite the commotion. Chicago lightning as the boss will say. Chicago, huh? Gunfire, someone was killed. Strange circumstances too. Blah, 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 blah. You're kidding. What a morning. Trouble everywhere at the park. The gate, even our house. Did something happen to your house too? I'm almost guessing a lot of these. Are that, a lot of these are actually gonna be like connected or something. I don't. Even the even the underwear thing. Cry without honor, without remorse. And somehow Phoenix knew that the whole fucking time or something. It's a private matter. Want want to hear about it? No, I don't think no is an acceptable answer, Polly. <laughs> you want to listen to it, don't you? You want to hear my sad fucking story? I I do. I do. So, what happened at your house? Bloomers, last night. Eh, I got a bad feeling about this. No, don't ask what it, what it is, what she means. Me, little pumpkin donkey, victim of a panic stretcher. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? What? So it wasn't just my panties that were stolen? Oh my god! God, you two then, did they? Poor thing. We are truly the, the best of the, the most beautiful women in town. Like I said, whoever did this a hardened criminal. It wasn't you, was it? No, no, of course not. Mercy, mercy. I've heard more that panties have been disappearing lately. And that missing panties all have something in common. It's hard to imagine true sees a Miss Kataki's panties having much in common. <laughs> my panties are extra, triple large. Oh my God, I just imagined Miss Kataki's panties. <laughs> I know, we'll find your bloomers too. Great, show me what you're made of. What have you gotten me into this time, Trucy? Uh, 
That girl from before. Oh, welcome home, sweetie. Hi, Mom. Um, oh. Uh-oh. Uh, hello, Mother. She's... She's a Kataki too? Oh, god dang it. Fucking Kataki mushrooms. Um, uh, Miss, Miss. Uh, uh, here, our flyer. The... Right, right, anything agency. Anything agency? Uh, yeah, do you like the new flyer? So, um, this is our defense attorney, Mr. Apologistus. Attorney. You know, I never, I just, I never really give the, like, like an accent. I don't ever do that. Like, I, I don't know why. I, I could, I could sort of do a bit of an English accent. I could do that for, like, and I never do it very often. And I always kind of forget, I guess I always kind of forget I can do that. I don't know. I guess unless they're, like, super posh or something. She seems sort of posh, though, right? I don't know. Let's stick with it and see if it's, if it were, it's a good pick or not. Drop by our office, we'll be waiting. Oh, uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Why did you give her a flyer? I don't know, she seemed like she could use some help. She's the heiress to a gangster dynasty. She doesn't need our help. <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure. Uh, oh God, I'm so scared of everybody here. Don't hurt me, please. Can I look at the trash can? There's a big trash can on the way into the park. Is there a ladder nearby so we can have our funny thing? I guess we can check it out. Detective's life sure is a hard one. I'm an attorney. Uh, uh, huh? Two pieces of garbage with paint on them. These are slippers. They look like the, the slippers you get at the hospital. Look at this Apollo. Doesn't this go, go in a car? It's a side view mirror? I fucking knew the slippers belonged to Dr. Crazy Pants. It was torn up, off when it was smacked into something, or someone. Wait, you don't think... I do. This could be from the car that hit Mr. Wright. Wow, when he took off its mirror? I never knew Daddy was so strong. Yeah, pegs of steel, baby. Uh. The car, he doesn't move at all. The car just like, fucking just melts into him. Like, Bleh. Only have room in my pocket for one of these, though. Which do you want to take? Ah. Oh, seriously? Yes, we thought it was a good idea to implement the Earthbound inventory system in the Phoenix Wright games. Fuck! <laughs> I'm betting the slippers. Gramps slippers in a pocket. I'm betting those have to do with the panties, right? It's got to do with Dr. Hadi. Service for a patient in the mer at the mer Merit Ractus Clinic was found in front of Kitaki Manor. Look. Look. Is there anything on them? Oh, hello, paint. I see you. No. Oh. The bottom is covered with paint. Oh, what's this weird shape here? It's like a leaf was stuck to the bottom when the wearer stepped in some yellow paint. So the outline was left when the leaf was removed. Ah, I got paint on my hand. Hello. Thank you. I saw you try to wipe your hand on my cape. <laughs> Baka! Do 15 scene of the stand theft. So, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> No! <laughs> so, what's this place? This would be Mr. Eldoon's house, silly. You silly nugget! Uh, oh, so this is where his stand was stolen from? I can see a piece of evidence lying on the ground already. Hey! Oh. Oh, there's the clinic. Look, there's a police car, car parked over there. You're right. What's with the sparkly entrance? What is this place, a hospital? There's a sign, Maractus Clinic. Oh! there's That's where the thief went. The thief? The one who stashed my panties! He ran into this clinic last night! Wait, maybe that police car is here to find my panties! <laughs> yeah, I, I doubt it. <laughs> There's like one way to be sure! Let's investigate! We're gonna do it right now! Ah, oh, there you are, Sonny! Oh, God! Well, you find anything yet? Find anything yet? Uh, um, no. Not yet. Where are the balls up? I'll fucking kill you! The longer you loaf around here, it's all to your victory bowl gets! Remember that! Bullet noodles is saying less like payment and more like punishment. I don't want to. I don't want any of your nasty noodles. So you stand, Eldun's noodles, was it? Ah, right, past time for father and son. Stan seems share of us all. Mm hmm. It's all Rome's family, you might say. I bet high blood pressure does too. <laughs> Everybody's dead. So, so you stand, Eldun's noodles were stolen. Oh, what this stand was stolen, sonny boy? I lost those wobbly wheels, but I saw a crust stew bot, my stain sign. Oh, I see, he was the one we saw pushing that thing around. I just didn't just lose the stand, lost the legend. No, 
No one steals a legend and gets away with it on my watch. Nobody. Oh, God. Whoa, your voice got deep. Let's find that legend, Apollo. Isn't that about time they bought a new one anyway? <laughs> Are there any more details you can give me about the stand? That's funny. Happened last night. I was blowing my whistle like, like always, crying. Crying the town. I was. Smell of broth filled the streets, thick and salty. I got home well. Right before 10 p.m., I reckon. Guess he's not aiming for that that late night market. I watched my bowls and gave the wheels a squirt, a squirt of grease, then I went inside. When did you notice it had been stolen? Early this morning before the sun rose. Work starts early. Did that many people eat noodles for breakfast? I washed up on well, I washed up on the salty shores of ruination. I stayed have my whole life in it. Name Ho B! They took everything? All my soup stuff, my noodles, my bowls, my dreams! Let's say left one bowl. Look, they're on the ground! Yeah, I saw that. You don't find that stand today. Now I'll be forced to walk in the streets, peddling what I. peddling that. my last bowl! Please, I'm under enough pressure here as it is. Please! Please! That's it, that's where the thief who snatched my panties ran to. It's quite a shame that is. They had to steal, make it, make it my loincloth. That's some pretty girl's panties. The garage, right. You don't think the thief, thief lives here, do you? Huh, I wouldn't put a pass I give another doctor. Uh, do I detect a little animosity here? Let's make sure to check out that garage thoroughly. Ah, oh, god damn it, it's gonna be that weird guy. I know it, I fucking know it. Okay, let's, uh, I see that bull back there. Is this yours, Mr. Eldon? Hey, that's the heart and soul of Eldon's noodles. The bulb is always salty soup. Pretty soon it's gonna taste just like noodles. Wow, it does smell like noodles. Mm, I love noodles. Oh, my other bulls got taken away from my stand. Get it back from me, sonny boy, I'm begging you. Okay, stop asking me. Just give me your fucking bowl. What in the world is that? Looks like the old drum's connected to that sink over there. Collecting rainwater to do the dishes. I'm environmentally conscious. You don't think he uses rainwater to cook his noodles and make to make the broth, do you? Well, I'm sure he finds the best water money can buy. He takes his business, you know. Look, the sun over there. El Dune only uses water from all natural sources. <laughs> uh, I think I'll take a raid check on eating here. What did you say to me, boy? Why does your sign say no? No. It's quite a sign. I take it. I take it that's no as opposed to old. <laughs> no! I like it. Me and myself, I did. I meant to ride not noodles, but around space. <laughs> oh. Prior planning prevents per per poor performance. Prior planning is poor performance. Not for me, it's supposed to work all by itself. It screws up my image, it does. It does have a certain power of willful denial thing going for it. <laughs> No! Adrian! Hi, doggy. Look, a doggy! Good boy, good boy. S salty. I'm sure the dog is a real name, Trissy. Yep, sure does. And Spoon. <laughs> and, and it's a she, by the way. Spoon doesn't seem so lively. Oh, he's dead. She died like three years ago. Eh, what the hell? <laughs> uh, she didn't get a bowl of salty broth this morning. That's why. I'm pretty sure that's probably what's killing your dog. <laughs> what a thing. <laughs> Oh, let's find this stand soon, for Spoon's sake! Pretty sure dogs aren't supposed to eat noodles anyway. Yep. Oh my god, there's a dead person in here. You're gonna be a this clinic. Raj! It's the place that's the way that panty snatcher ran. Are you sure? Maybe! Oh yeah, okay, they sound totally sure. Let's look for clues. Clues to a panty snatching! <laughs> clues like a pair of panties! <laughs> um, Trucy, stop saying that. <laughs> Could you, <laughs> could you could you try not saying panties so many fucking times? Panty, 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 panty. Uh, no, uh, Paul just fucking explodes. Panties. I see you. Think about this car. Take a look closer. Ah, oh. There we are. Look, a cell phone. Someone dropped it beneath this tire. If the car moved, it would be a crush for sure. Mm, I wonder if it belongs to the doctor here. We should bring it to him later. It's a... Oh, look at it. It's a little pink cell phone. It actually has... Does it have a touch screen? Oh, my God. 
Finally, we've entered the future. Actually, no, I don't think it does. What in the world is that? Oh. Look at this cute little watch strap. I want one. I want one right now, buddy. It's kind of odd, though. What is? I mean, if you want to know what t the time is, you can just look at the phone itself. Hey, you're right, Sharp Apollo. Uh, th thanks. Finally, some respect. Yes, finally, people like me. So what does that tell you? Well, the owner of this phone doesn't think through the details for one. They did drop their phone after all. I kind of figured they were a little spacey already. Oh, good point. Okay, I see you in the exhaust pipe. That reminds me. I once read a record of a case that Mr. Wright worked on many years ago. Apparently, there was this car with a piece of cloth shoved into the tailpipe. Oh, yeah. What was that one again? That piece of cloth turned out to be a vital clue to solving the case. I think it was. Wasn't it in the, the final case of the first game? The Damon Gant one? I think. Wow! Remember that case record whenever I, I'm checking out a car. And I always check the tailpipe. Everyone's got a hobby, I guess. <laughs> I'm a tailpipe digger. Wouldn't it be funny if... Hey, there's something in there. What? <laughs> uh, oh, oh, wait a second. Are these your... <laughs> ah! My panties! Oh, my God! <laughs> what? Already? <laughs> what, you mean I did it? I solved the case? I fucking did it! Wow, thank you, Apollo. You're a genius. Amazing. No, no, really. D don't mention it. Just d don't mention it to anybody. Oh, my God. I just fucking realized there's a ladder back there. We got to do... We got to talk to that ladder. No, serious. I'm really impressed. I, uh... I look like I'm... I feel like I'm looking like a piece of Play-Doh. Where's the panty exactly? <laughs> it's really... I guess it's just kind of wadded together, but... Oh. You must have a girl, nose for finding a girl's panties. Oh. What in the... Um, what are those? <laughs> my little panties, of course. They're... They come home to mama. I can't wait to use them. You're going to put them on? Now? Watch closely now. Nah. Behold! It just rips her fucking clothes off. Whoosh. Like, ah, why? See, nothing in the panties. Ta-da! Well, where did that come from? How did that bowl get in your panties? The panties are an extra dimensional space. Anything can fit in there. Anything! Look, I fit my whole body in there! She just, like, puts it over her head and she just disappears into nothing. They're my magic panties. It's one of my best tricks. Oh, uh, oh. Magic panties? They love the they love them over at the Wonder Bars. I do shows there nightly. You mean those panties are a prop? You could have told me a little sooner! <laughs> Trucy's panties, but discreetly away in Trucy's pocket. Well, that's one case closed, at least. What are you saying? We still have to catch the thigh devil that ran off the tool of my trade. I am gonna fucking kill him. Oh, right. <laughs> Damn it. Something tells me we're, we're not finished searching this garage, anyway. What's the lights place say? Uh, <laughs> nothing. For some reason. Oh, oh, of course, there's the thingadinger. Hey, look at that. Ah, uh, this is this is also the car. Of course, all the cases are connected. This is the car that ran into to, to Phoenix. The mirror's been broken off. Now, this is a clue. What? You're smiling like you know something. I don't. You aren't keeping a clue from me, are you, Polly? Clue, let's see. Ah, uh, damn it. I gotta go drop the other ones off then, I guess. Seriously, I can hold on to everything else, but I have to decide between a pair of slippers and a car mirror. Oh, hey, Mr. Kitty, what are you doing up there? Hey, a kitty cat. Here, kitty, kitty. Who is a kitty, kitty? Meow. Mr. Kitty, what are you doing in this game? Meow. No, Mr. Kitty, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want you in this game, all right? You already have enough weird people here. Meow. <laughs> Those are fine words where I come from, Mr. Kitty. It's not coming down. We did look kind of, kind of suspicious, you have to admit. It's okay, kitty cat. His hair won't hurt you. It's okay, kitty cat. She won't make you disappear in her hat. Yeah, he's not he's not buying it. <laughs> okay, well fuck you too, Mr. Kitty. Look, it's a look, it's a folding ladder. Polly, that's a called a step ladder. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god! You really are the Maya. A step ladder? How is that different from a regular ladder then? <laughs> what? She this is like she uses that appalled look so often, it's like that wasn't Oh my god, how could you say that? It's a much more complex piece of machinery. It's like two ladders stuck together. So you admit that basically it's a ladder, right? <laughs> what 
Wait, huh? You have to look past the form, at the essence of the thing, at the very essence of it. Uh, can we talk about something else? No, we must talk more about this fucking ladder. Oh, look, there are people parts in there. Ah, uh, fuck me, I gotta go get the fucking mirror. I'll be right back, Mr. Kitty. Ah, fuck you too. All right, it's a side view mirror with some paint on it. Better take it. I can only carry one thing at a time for reasons beyond our understanding. Okay, let's try this again. Whoa, look at this thing, it's amazing. Whoa. I can't just be like, hey, remember that thing we found earlier? Nope. I think I do have something in mind. Now, be <laughs> Take that! My clue is this! Whoa, it's the same color and size and everything! A perfect match! I guess we could check it out. Hmm? Two pieces of garbage with paint on them. Look at this, Paolo. Doesn't it just go in the a car? It's just, uh, are we are we really are we really going back to look at the thing we just? <laughs> yes, I, I remember. Remember that thing that happened five seconds ago when we grabbed the mirror. Well, let's let's go back to that because I don't think the I don't think the player's gonna understand that we found this in a trash can <laughs> and then it came off the car with the side of the mirror. Looks like it was torn off when it was smacked into something. I wonder what it could be or someone. Well, it looks like we just found solved a case. It's a car that hit daddy last night and stole my panties too! This car is fucking going to jail! He's sitting right in front of us, yep. Wow, you put the pro in professional, Apollo. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Drusy. Apollo! Huh? What, what, what is it? Now we solve this case, we go report to daddy! No mope if we leave him alone too long, knowing him. Um, okay. It doesn't seem to be seem to type to mope though. It's hardly a case worth reporting. Where the balls did he go? He's still not in here. I don't understand there was an ambulance outside, but a police car? Maybe they're tax evaders. Oh, sorry, miss. No going to the clinic today. Did something happen? Uh, uh, oh, no, no, no. I see here. Move along. Or find someplace else to play doctor. Do we look like the right age to be playing doctor? <laughs> I don't good God. We need a little more info from this miraculous clinic. Hey, that's what Gerald Dune. He's the neighbor in the hall. I think we should check out the crotch, too. What if the thief stole my panties is still in there? Okay, okay. I see. Hey, do you think something happened next next door? There's a police car up front. Yeah, probably gave someone food poisoning, I'll bet. If someone's at risk of giving someone food poisoning, <laughs> I got a police car got here this this morning, actually. Guess what they were up to? That's what they were up to. They, haven't even they wouldn't even tell me, the neighbor. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I was surprised. Why the doctor works with the wrong crowd? Just a matter of time before we got what was coming in. Yeah. The wrong crowd? Never mind about that. Uh, okay. Oh, there we go. I still, I was like, why'd you tell me to go back here, Trucy, if I, if I still have shit I need to do? If I didn't have field clinic. Oh, hey, you, you did the other thing. You, you raised the other flag. Good, I'm back now. Yo, how goes it? Daddy, how do you feel? Not bad, Trucy, not bad. It's good to have you youngins on the case. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, I'm sorry, but... A 33-year-old man calling me young, and I kind of want to stab him. Let's old daddy get some well-deserved R&R. &R. Children need, need their rest. <laughs> uh, isn't he only 33? <laughs> um, we cleared up most of the cases. I was right about you. Competent, capable, and totally stupid for- Really, I can't believe you just did all- You just did my laundry list of stupid shit. I'm not gonna pay you. Tell me we found out if you want to. Your enthusiasm is overwhelming. <laughs> Hey, if you want, I don't give a shit. Progress report. Well, I shouldn't expect you back this early. Polly's amazing! He found my panties so quick! Almost like he was the one who stole them! You have an interesting co concept of praise. <laughs> and? Did you find the mad driver who gave me the 30 foot toss? Apparently, he was a doctor from the, the Maractus Clinic. Mmm, Maractus, eh? I've heard of him. He's giving us that smug smile like I knew all along. <laughs> Nothing good, mind you. That reminds me, a police car was parked outside the clinic. Hey, something happened? What is this miraculous clinic anyway? All I've heard are the rumors. That clinic's been making good money. In a bad way. Bad? That's an organized crime, the Kentucky family. Kentucky, oh my god, the KFC family? Kentucky Fried Chicken. Ah! Um, the Kentucky family? He did that on purpose. <laughs> Some injuries you can't take to, to a public hospital, see? They use them. Practice clinic for their patch-up jobs. 
Interesting. All right. What is People Park? Looks like something had happened in that, that park. Ah, a body was found there in unusual circumstances. Something more unusual than being dead? <laughs> it's not our concern in any case. Right, let's ignore that and find that noodle stand. Yeah, yeah, because that's really the most interesting one here. Whatever happened to the professional curiosity? Thanks, really. If I get tired of sleeping, maybe I'll head down to this miraculous place. Ah, maybe I'll hit him up for some reparations. Legal action would do me some good. I gotta use the cash. Um, I was wondering when I get paid. We solved the case of your ac uh, your accident and um, found a missing article of clothing. My panties! Yes, your fucking panties! Stop saying it! Well, there's the noodle stand. Uh, be over here to drop in if you get stuck. <laughs> I'll be happy to help with, you, help with anything not involving money. Goodbye, quid pro quo. Hello, pro bono. Fuck! <laughs> right, back to the police, to the office plan to our next move. God damn it! <laughs> what happened to you, Phoenix? I just don't give two shits anymore. I love bumming off people for fucking help. While you're at it, you might also grab my groceries. Q15, right? Anything? A to say! Ah! <laughs> okay. You're the one for the Kataki place. Yes. I knew something's the matter and you want to help, right? You want to help! You come to the right, the right place! This way, please! Um, thank you. My name is Elita Tayala. I have a request. Mm. You also you also have green fingernails. Mm. I don't know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Nico just wants to whip that voice out anytime you want. Just should go, Ew! <laughs> Fucking stupid. Your request, let me guess. Thanks for stolen. Um, your flyer. It says now defending, so I thought. What? You mean you, you mean, you, you mean, you want me to defend, want me to defend you? Me? Me? You can tell us what, what happened? Were you by a car? Did someone steal your stand? Or your panties? No, no, what? No, good God. Not a client, actually. The client would be my, well, my fiancé, I suppose you call him. But, fiancé? What happened to him, then? He was arrested this morning. The change, the charge was murder. Murder? Have you heard about what happened at the park? Yes, I heard. Dead people. So, what's your story? You, you frequent the Kataki Mansion, and yes? Are you a member of their, um, organization? No, not yet. But I will. I just have to kill my first person. Would you like to be the first person I kill? Not yet. You see, I'm to be married next month to the boss's son. The boss's son? So, he's a... A g -g gangster? A g -g -g gangster? Yes, but the Kadakis are locally responsible gangsters. I thought it'd be nice for a change, quit my boring job, live the good gangster life. I think you're onto something, Miss Kataki, I like the sound. I like the sound of that. I'm not sure your daddy would care much for that. Daddy doesn't give two shits. All right, <laughs> and you figure that out by now. Ace Hobo doesn't give two craps. <laughs> what? What happened? I haven't been told all the details, but I do know a body was found in the park near the Kataki Mansion. There were a lot of police cars there. Apparently, the victim was shot with a pistol, right in the balls. <laughs> Wait, the balls? Yes, right in his right in his gonads, they say. say. But I hear the circumstances of the shooting were rather unusual. And your fiance was arrested for this? Um, what sort of person is your fiance? Tell me. First, you must pick my little op my little option down there. Your fiance is the Kataki family's only son, correct? His name's Waki. Waki Kataki. <laughs> Waki. Waki. Waki Kataki. Waki. Waki. Oh, Waki Taki. I get it. Ah, ah, ah. I brought the photo. Oh, wow. Well, that's quite the photo. Oh, my God. Your fiance looks like a massive douchebag. Oh my god, he's got a blue badger fucking shirt. No, actually, I take it back. It's a bad badger! Get it right, damn it! It's the bad badger! And a wolf or something on the coat? Or Mew? I, I don't know. I know, I know, he can be powerful and menacing, but so cute. <laughs> What's up? I'm totally getting the Kameda voice because I'm a big fucking tool. But if he's the boss's only son. Yes, I'm sure he'll take his father's place someday. 
Say, I'm boss already of this agency. Please help my walkie, please. Right, right, my first solo defense case. Ah, yes, I'm the best. Crime boss's son or not, I'll prove he's innocent, for I am justice. I prepared a letter of request, I don't, I know you need those. Sweet. Right, let's go check out the scene of the crime. So wait, what was all the other shit I did then? Just dick it around. Just dick it around, Nick. <laughs> ah, where, where did you come from? The little detention center. Oh, God dang it. I have to talk to this guy. The detention center, visitor's room. Oh, good. Now I see that guard is still there. Only he's slightly higher definition than he used to be. But still not breathing. Polly, you look as happy as a clam in a shell. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I am... For a lawyer, this is it. The place where the battle begins. Oh, I am so fucking ready for some cases. You don't know, Trucy. Yeah, you, uh, you need something? Uh, uh yes. We're, we're attorneys. I was hoping we could see Mr. Waki Kataki. Waki Kataki? Sorry, he's in question right now. Could take a while. Try it. Oh, well, I guess we'll have to come back later then. So much for that battle. <laughs> and that was a motorcycle. Fifteen, can't you imagine? So this is it, my first murder crime scene. Yeah. Oh, it's you kids again. Look, can you find some other place to play? I swear to God, we're not playing. We're on investigating, aren't we, Apollo? Sure, I have a letter of request here. Letter of? Ah. Huh? Why does it say hit request on it? Uh, what? This Tiala must have used the Kataki stationery. <laughs> <laughs> they just, are, they, are you serious? It's a notepad and every one of them says hit request because they just have them so often. <laughs> Excuse me, coming through, it's totally. No. Uh, 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 sorry. Ah, it's you, Mr. Gavin. Who's this guy? Uh. Oh, god damn it. This guy almost looks like he needs a Tagami voice, but. A Maseum used to being inspected by the ladies. <laughs> But this is the first time I felt this way with a man. W wait, what? M Mr. Gavin? Uh, oh, oh. Well, what the fuck? Oh. Ah, uh, Fraulein, what is sweet morsel like you doing in such a dismal place? Can I help? Can I help you? Okay. Uh, oh my God. Is this like his son or something? And, okay, uh, okay, I remember you guys saw people in the few people in the comments saying, look, Nico, I'm gonna do a German accent because there's gonna be someone with that later. Well, you know what? Uh, I know that what my Von Karma was already. Yeah. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, oh, Fraulein. What is a sweet boss like you doing in such a reasonable place? Can I help you? For some reason, I don't know why. If it, I see Fraulein, I want to say it in, oh, Fraulein. What is a sweet boss like you doing in such a reasonable place? Can I help? Uh, yes. A policeman. Please, if officer fellow here won't listen, if you have a, even have a letter request. Oh, you must be exhausted standing out here. I, oh, you must be exhausted standing out here. Isn't that, that, that was sort of German setting, wasn't it? I thought it was. You must be exhausted standing out here. I will take you to the scene of the crime. Oh, really? By your leave, officer. Yeah, 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 yeah sir, of course, sir. Ah, oh, very well. This way, Fraulein. Wee! <laughs> I'm just, I'm testing the waters, guys. I, I just pretty like, it sounds fucking shit. Hey, wait, what about me? <laughs> oh, no, they ran into that thing. What in the world? June 15th, people park. Oh, we found a stand. On that note, to enjoy your investigation. Thank you, will we see you again? That's the windfall line, and I'll be riding on it. I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 it sounds so goofy, though, the way I'm doing it. But for some reason, whenever I want to see the word Fraulein, I always want to say it in that voice. Hello, Fraulein. I mean, he's, cause he's, he doesn't seem like he would sound like that. It looks like a, like a, like a sexy Edgeworth type, right? Give him an Edgeworth voice with, with a German accent. If I, <laughs> actually, I don't know if I could do that. Who was that? Eek! Apollo, look, a, a, a corpse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? What? Oh, hey, it's just a mannequin. <laughs> Wow, it sure got me. You mean the mannequin back there? Are you kidding me? Uh. Might I, I ask Zach what is you're doing here? I knew it. Oh, it's you. How did you kid, how'd your kids get in here? 
Oh, this, this guy, well, he was more like a prince, really. He let us in. <laughs> Him again. <laughs> the, gl the glimmerous fop always getting my way. Anyway, this scene is off limits. Excuse me, we have a letter of request. Mm, one moment. Why is she holding that big magnifying glass? <laughs> uh -huh. Yes! I'd recognize that I'd recognize that handwriting anywhere. Scientific analysis says this this was written by Alita Titiala. Thanks. It took you 30 minutes to figure that out. <laughs> Could have just asked. So what's up with the mannequin there? It's taking the place of the body, preserving the, the scene of the crime so as it was found. The body was pull pulling the stand? So you're a defense attorney, are you? Detective Emma Scott, I'm in charge of this crime scene. She doesn't seem like that happy about it. <laughs> she doesn't seem that happy about many things. <laughs> oh, you, wow, you turned kind of pouty, didn't you? I trust you know how to stay out of the way. I always carry two pairs of handcuffs, just in case. Talk to me. You're what you're, you seem way too capable to be the detective gumshoe. Um, Detective Gasky? Quiet, please. Sack time. <laughs> oh my God, what is she eating? Mmm. I'm eating oysters. I'm eating the shell of the oyster. We're not making much progress here. She must not be very busy. <laughs> Never seem to get a lucky break. Back after nine years, and they won't give me the position I requested. Oh. That's right, because she, she wanted to be a forensic scientist, right? Then I hear he gave up the defense attorney life. He, who's he? An ex-defense attorney? Who could it possibly be? Hmm. Um, Detective Sky. Quiet, please. Snack time. Oh, God damn it. Okay, well, we're just gonna do this again. Okay, so I gotta... So she's gonna keep saying that again and again and again. Hey there, don't mess with the crime scene. Oh, fuck me. But we need to investigate. Apollo, look, that stand. It says Aldoon. No yeah, I I've noticed. <laughs> well, we solved the case of the missing stand, at least. Though the circumstances could stand to be better. Oh, what? What changed? What? Oh, I, I looked at... <sighs> because I looked at where the, the stand was, I guess. So, okay. Ah, uh, fuck me. I was here. I was here earlier. You weren't here. Oh, you're back. Wow, how convenient. Why don't have some problems? Oh, Polly, didn't you want to tell Daddy something? Who? Me? No, no. I'm, I'm fine, really. What's this? Oh, there is a problem. Tell me. Tell me. No, no problem. Actually, I got a defense request. A defense request? Wow, that is a problem. Huh? Uh, I'm getting up on the court. I'm not a lawyer anymore. Yeah. The, 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 the request is for me, asshole. All right, you're a lawyer, aren't you? Ah, 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 let's all laugh at the big joke, ah. He's doing that on purpose, I know it. I'm gonna stab you by the end of this, right? So what about this defense request? It's related to the murder in People Park, actually. Guess what, we found Mr. L L Dune's noodle stand at the scene of the crime. Did you, did you know, that's unusual indeed. Never heard of a noodle stand being used as a murder weapon. Uh, I think the murder weapon was something else. You mean you don't know what the murder weapon was? The funny detective ladies that wouldn't let us on the scene. <clears throat> what kind of detective wears a lab coat anyway? A lab coat? Huh. Didn't think she'd be involved with this. You know her? You could say that. <laughs> oh yeah, we've had some good times. Good times. So you know her, don't you? I met her on a case this was about ten years ago. You're still a high school student at the time. That would make her about the same age as me. Wow! <laughs> That's my daddy. He knows all the police types. Oh, wait. Maybe you know that, that other guy, too. That other guy? The Shining Prince on the motorcycle. Oh, my God. He's so fucking hot. Prince? Prince? Follow. tell me how this Prince of Truce is. An old and concerned father. He was at the crime scene. He looked just like Mr. Gavin. Did he now? You know him? I guess this is Christoph Gavin's younger brother. Oh. His brother? 
We're quitting this after after fashion. Clavier Gavin, rock and roll god incarnate. Rock and roll! Oh my god, you're telling me I shouldn't be giving him the rocker god voice? Yeah, baby. Hello, Fraulein, how are you? That's totally not an appropriate voice at all, though. No way. Clavier, what a, what a lovely name, he's so dreamy. <clears throat> I didn't know Mr. Gavin had a brother. And what, what was he doing out there? I don't think he's gonna be your prosecutor rival. I'm just fucking betting. I feel like you'll be crossing paths again soon. Mwah. Now, what was the problem again? I didn't troll the the crime scene in the park. Yeah, it just wouldn't let us. Go to the office, under the silk top hat, you'll find a bottle of white powder. Snort it, and then you'll get the power of the gods to do what you have to do. Try taking that to this detective. White powder? I hope it's not what I think it is. It is crack. <laughs> yeah, that's what I didn't want to know. Just take it her, it'll be fine, you'll see. Oh, and tell, tell her I said hi. So this must be the silk top hat Mr. Wright mentioned. Let's take a closer look. Huh? Whoa! You know what this is, Trucy? Uh, fingerprint dusting. I remember finding some, like, some, some in Daddy's dresser when I was little. I thought it was sugar, so I licked it. He got mad at me. <laughs> and then I was tripping balls! This is getting more and more suspicious. What? <laughs> I like how they're really like laying on like, like this is, this sounds like fucking drugs, baby. Okay, but the cotton ball pretty much gives it away. Let's go talk to the detective. She's sure to know what the white powder is. Where did you get these drugs? From dear old daddy Wright. All right, look, behold. Um, does this ring any bells? Ah, uh, is that, it couldn't. Where did you get that? I brought it from the office. You work at the Wright and Cole offices? Yes. Uh, yeah, sort of. <laughs> Take the sky. How do you how do you know my daddy? D daddy? Oh, I'm sorry. Who who did you say you were? Tracy Wright, Venus Wright's daughter. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mr. Wright has a daughter. What the crap? You seem shocked. Well, if you're Mr. Wright's Mr. Wright's daughter and you're his apprentice. Then I'll, I'm available to help in you in any way I can. Oh, uh, thanks. You can start by not calling me Mr. Wright's apprentice. <laughs> this powder is used for detecting fingerprints. Fingerprints? I guess you might call it a memento from the time I spent with Mr. Wright. White powder memories. Also, we did lots of drugs. Anyway, if you find any evidence with fingerprints on, please let me know. We'll dust it for prints. Well, she's quite the eager be beaver all of a sudden. Eager beaver! Four came in late last night. The body was found as found much as you can, as you see it now, except it was a real body. But why? Why was a body pulling a noodle stand? If I oh, if I knew the answer to that, I would, wouldn't still be here. Oh, I see. Well, what was the cause of death? A bullet wound to the temple. He was shot by a pistol. Hey, Mary, remember that funny-looking 3D cin cin cinematic intro? Oh yeah. A pistol. Not the easiest thing to kick come by this day, this day and age. Unless you're a cop or a gangster. Incidentally, the victim's name was Pal Maractus. I received the autopsy report, in fact. As in the Maractus Clinic. Mm, yes. Really, what's up with this case? It's enough to make me want to run off pulling a mysterious noodle stand behind me. <laughs> Not so mysterious, actually. We should, we should tell her, Apollo. After all, we know where the stand came from. A likely story. I didn't come here to play games, you know. Actually, we do know where the noodle stand came from. The noodle stand's owner is... It's this guy! <laughs> yeah, so good, I've been looking for my noodles everywhere. Take that! <laughs> Take that! Who's the old guy? This is the, the proprietor of Eldun's noodles, Mr. Eldun himself. He's famous in this part of town. Not bad, I guess Mr. Wright picked the right kids for the job. That saved me a lot of work. Thanks. I mean... It has his name on the fucking noodles. God damn. <laughs> what sort of person was the victim anyway? I mean, what did what he do? He was a doctor. A doctor? I'm starting to see a connection here. D is, don't tell me, was it the guy that just died? I mean, the, the, was it the crazy doctor guy? Is going to end up being this dude? Dr. Hickfield? No, actually, probably not. <laughs> actually, I'm pretty sure that guy's, he's like, actually a patient there. Right. So I see connection here. Tell me! Who, me? I'm supervisor for this crime scene. Take the sky. Hmm. I was out of the country for a while. I came back to be a forensic scientist. Oh, were you studying abroad? 
Something like that? I'm studying in Europe. Forensic sciences, mind you. <laughs> yeah, alright, alright, we get it. When I got back, they threw me in criminal affairs, just like that. Why didn't you just become a forensic expert in Europe? Well, I suppose that was an option, but... I had a lot of favors to repay the two people back here. Back in Japan, America! Favors? Was she in high school when she left? What? What's that look for? <laughs> so I'm involved in an incident before I left. But Mr. Ratchet and his people helped me out. I owed them. Yep, we helped out your crazy, your crazy psycho sister. Really? I had no idea. She's been out of the country for a while. She probably doesn't know about Mr. Wright's current uh, state of affairs. <laughs> I'm a dirty homeless man now. Um, could you tell us a bit about the defendant? He's the only son of the Kataki family, yes? Waki Kataki. I don't know if he's the boss's son, but he's certainly throwing his weight around. Finally, in the detention center. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Why was he arrested in the first place? You are a defense attorney, aren't you? You're not his, but not his by any chance. Uh, actually, yes, I am. Well, we have a witness to the moment of the crime. Eh? The witness called the police. They call, they'll be testifying during the trial tomorrow. What? Ah, uh, all right. Still spit more about the victim? Well, let's see. Apparently, he's the physician at a clinic in the area. Quite well off, too, from the sound of it. The clinic's name is Maractus Clinic. Hmm, maybe that's why the cop car was parked there. What? You been to the clinic? Yeah, though on a re on a related issue, I told the detective about the case of the stolen noodle stand. I see. So that means Doctor Raptor stole the stand and pulled it all the way here. That was that was seem to be the case. But why? Don't ask. Don't ask me. <laughs> I don't know. There's got to be a good clue or two around here. You and your trash cans. Go ahead and knock yourself out. Please, can you see I'm doing my huh? Look. Another pair of underwear! <laughs> wow, Paul, you're a genius of finding panties! Stop, stop saying that. Wait, these aren't... They're not mine?! Well, we already found your other panties. These have been stolen too? Oh my god, it's the bloomers of that crazy lady. Crazy fish lady! It's a, a knife. A shift, to be precise. Oh, lingo! <laughs> The defendant, Waki Kataki, is the son of the known gangsters. The police are assuming this belongs to him. Wait, but wasn't the murder, wep murder weapon a pistol? Oh, look at this. There's a handprint on this, this shift. A handprint? Did you say handprint? Then there might be a fingerprint. Hmm. Uh, y yeah, that is sort of the general... Give me that thing! Let's investigate. Uh. Oh, God. Are we going to do that weird mini game from before where we have to... Bl Blow dust on there. Right, Foose, choose the fingerprint you want to examine. Choose a fingerprint? Look closely at the handle. Look closely. See, there's more than one fingerprint there. Those black spots. That's right, pick the one you want to analyze. Okay, I'll, I guess I'll analyze the massive one right there. Right, let's get detecting. Wow, it's practically glowing with excitement. Oh my god, I'm so fucking ready. Right, first sprinkle some aluminum powder over the print. Just touch the screen, just like, like the C. Oh my god, we are doing this again, aren't we? You know, left by, the printer absorbs the aluminum powder, so you just have to dust it off, dust it on, and blow it off. Blow? It's just like whistling, you know how to whistle, don't you? Just put your lips together. Yep, we're doing it again. Wow, it's amazing, it's like magic. <sighs> isn't it, isn't it though? Right, let's give it a shot. Certainly, it's important to, you cover the entire fingerprint with powder. Woo! Oh yeah, cocaine everywhere! Alright, hold on, I gotta find out what the noise button was again. Oh right, it's actually a button on here, right? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Alright, I forgot, I, I, <laughs> a long time ago, back when I played the first game, I had I actually assigned it to a, the L2 button on my controller here. Mm, good, clear, quite impressive. Next to match the print. The police has, has samples so you can tell whose fingerprint this belongs to. Uh, that doesn't sound like much as much fun as actually finding the print. Okay, but the person whose print you think this is. You probably have a good idea whose knife this is already. I wonder who this could possibly even be. Well, okay, let's compare. What do you know? It's a match. Who would have fucking thunk? 
Sciency! So the fingerprints do belong to the defendant. Yes, isn't it amazing? All oh, the power of science is my life. Oh my god, I want it inside me. Apollo, she's sparkling. And I'm dimming. <laughs> Look sharp, spirits up. Sack up, boys. The real fight is yet to come. Chin up, Polly. Charles even started. I'm already losing. <laughs> losing my fucking marbles. So, have you met the defendant? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> this thing hours are almost over at the detention center. You might think about wrapping up here and getting over there. Good idea. I don't know what good it will, will do, but we have a witness and a knife with prints. If I mention I've got a bad feeling about this, I've, uh, <laughs> of course it is. It's fucking death. It's fucking murder. Don't worry, it's like a right tradition. Some traditions I can live without. <laughs> New 15, detention center, visitor's room. Sorry, we got for today all done. But we still have, we still have three minutes. I'll put in a request. I wouldn't expect anything. Father's fa father's talking in the private room with him. The father? You mean like a priest? I mean the suspect's father. God dang it, Mr. Winfred, big big wins Kentucky himself. Uh, Mr. Judge, why are you out here as a dressed as a security guard? I don't know, cause I'm fucking bored. <laughs> Not someone I care to meet. Uh, die you. Uh, you're the one on. Wait, you're the one on your way out, old. Oh. Oh, there they are. They're here. Oh my god. Oh my god, he looks exactly like the Godfather. <laughs> he does, doesn't he? Except he's got a handband and some goofy apron with a fox on it. Oh, with a kawaii fox. Whoa, this guy radiates power. Power with a cute apron? <laughs> are you, are you Waki's lawyer? Yes, sir. Well, I'm Big Wins Kentucky, fourth head of the Kentucky family. Peace. Er, uh, er, uh, actually, I came to speak to your son, Mr. Justice. Yes? My son's innocent. He killed no one. If he were found guilty, it wouldn't be good. Capiche? <laughs> yes, I'm all about capiching. Capiche! Capiche loud and clear! Loud and clear! You gotta do more than just understand to make it. You'll learn, though. Even in this lesson comes at the end of your short life. I don't, I don't feel so good. <laughs> What's the big idea, old man? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> what in the... Is he... Does he have little kitty whiskers drawn on his face? Can't treat me like a kid no more. Not now. You know, I... I, I want to go to the... Cl I, I want to go to the clinic. I like it here. Oh my god. You must be walking. She's not a G till he does our time, Bazooey! Oh, oh. She's not a G till he does our time, Bazooey! Should I give him up? Seven boys? You'll see when I get out of here, things will change! <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, that's... What? Ooh. My apologies, Mr. Justice. He's usually such a nice boy. Forgive me if I have a hard time believing that. Ha! You can't take me under your wing with this time, old man! You hear me? I don't need no try! I did it! <laughs> I think that's enough for today, Mr. Justice. Don't let me down tomorrow. You better not, or I'll find you. I'll fucking eat you. Wait, did he say he's gonna eat me? So much for talking to our client. We made so much progress today! We even found my panties! I had fun, at least. Of course, the biggest mystery of all remains. How am I supposed to build a case for the trial? I am so fucking boned. I almost forgot it's time for my show. Time I'm performing at the Wonder Bar. You should come check it out. I really don't want to. <laughs> to be continued. Will Apollo Justice go to Trucy Wright's magic show? Find out next time in the exciting adventures of a taste attorney Z. <laughs> oh my God, this crack is amazing. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. That was... It was interesting. I don't know. To be honest, and I've always found this to be most of the Phoenix Wright games. I've always found the investigation part to be the weakest part. The best part is when you're actually in the courtroom and doing the, the stuff. When you're investigating, it's just pretty much just like, it's pretty much a big linear path of go fi figure out where you're supposed to go next, you know? When we actually get to the actual court trial stuff, it's, I think, when it's the most interesting. But anyway... Hope you all enjoyed. Like for if you did, and subscribe now if you're not already to become Peaky Penguin for the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. 
And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy. Ray, what did you envision happening with this? Um.